After experts revealed the benefits of breastfeeding, this traditional practice has regained popularity but still remains a sensitive issue for some women. Now we've been told for years that breast is best. We'd never have breastfeed. Why not? Never. It doesn't come naturally to everybody. Hi, I'm Rebecca Braden and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be learning more about this issue from world-renowned breastfeeding expert Dr. Michael Kramer. Why should women breastfeed? It's been shown that breastfeeding has many health advantages and developmental advantages for the baby and is also healthier for the long-term health of the mother. There's very good evidence that breastfeeding, particularly prolonged and exclusive breastfeeding, during the period when the brain is developing, actually accelerates brain development. Adults who have been breastfed for a long period of time and pretty exclusively have higher IQs, and they do better in school. There's some tantalizing suggestions that breastfeeding may protect against type 1 diabetes, lymphoma, leukemia, and another kind of blood cancer. Is there a correct way to breastfeed? There are many incorrect ways of breastfeeding, particularly involving uh, just having the baby nipple suck and not actually milk the breast, and that's what damages nipples. How often should one breastfeed? It's really the baby that determines how often and how much. It's very variable. Early on after birth, it could be an hour later, an hour and a half later. That's typical. It could be a half hour later if the baby just didn't get enough that time. Sometimes it's three or four hours at night. At what age should it stop? There's really not much evidence about health benefits, either for the baby or the mother, beyond the second year of life. That there's no upper maximum beyond which it's been shown to either be harmful to the child or the mother. Can you explain to us a bit about the debate between formula feeding and breastfeeding? Formula feeding was by far the most common form of infant feeding. After the Second World War, I think the nadir that is the lowest point in breastfeeding was in the late 60s, early 70s, and it's had somewhat of a renaissance since then, largely because of the recognition of the health benefits. We keep finding things new about breast milk that are better than the formulas. The formulas are better than they used to be, but they're still not as good as breast milk. Do you have any final thoughts? I would just say for women who are either don't want to or can't. They shouldn't feel guilty that they were unable to do it or unable to do it for very long. So although I'm very strong in terms of encouraging women to breastfeed, I don't think women who don't want to or can't should feel guilty about it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.